Okay guys, welcome back. It is Pun Factor here. I'm going to be bringing you some green-white value town. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try a little more of a streamlined kind of staple list that um, I watched. I completely forget his name, but he took it to a 5-0 finish. Granted, this was in 2018. The meta was completely different. But I took a lot of uh, the things he was doing, and I'm just going to give it a go. See how it goes. Uh, you'll notice I have all four paths, one Dramokas Command. Pretty typical in the green-white value town. A couple Skuzes and only three voices. Um, I did take out Azusa, running two Ramanops, three Tireless Trackers, four Coursers, of course, um, four Knight of the Reliquaries. I do have two Knight of Autumn's main board, um, very good utility card, one Eternal Witness to get back anything I might need, the four Cocos. Uh, mana base pretty much stays the same. I am only running three Ghost Quarters instead of four um, because I do want to main board the Bajuka Bog. And I don't want to go down on too many colorless lands. Uh, the sideboard is kind of where things get a little wonky. Um, I'm still running two chokes and two EEs. Now, what I am doing that's pretty different from what I've done in the past with this deck, I'm going to run Eldritch Evolution with a suite of Silver Bullet creatures. And actually, I want to get Avon Mind Sensor in here somewhere. Um, but anyway, I have Lin Vala for that. Uh, Shalai. Um, and Idol on a Rhetoric, along with Kataki's Wars Wage. So those don't need explaining as to why they're good and why they're in here. Still have my one of Worship and two Stony Silences. Um, just way too good right now. And I have my two Surgical Extractions, also way too good right now with all the Graveyard running around. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give this a try. You'll notice one thing. Um, I do not have the full eight Mana Dorks which I probably am kind of coming around to the fact that I should. But let's go ahead and give that a run. Let's just go ahead and do a Q. Green, white, value town. And let's see how we do. So I'm really sad. Like, I really would love to figure out this, like, Black Splash version, but I just feel like it is leaving a lot to be desired. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I had switched around, like, quite a few things in the deck and in the sideboard. But, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't doesn't feel like it's doing it. Maybe it's just because this deck is not, not necessarily doing it anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and keep this. We have a couple mana dorks to excel into our uh, Courser. And hopefully we have a little bit of removal here. Be able to fetch up a Temple Garden. Unfortunately... Um, hopefully we don't need this removal early, um, so we can just kind of fetch this Temple Garden tapped, um, or the Noble sticks around where we can just use the mana off the Noble to cast our interaction, but we'll see what happens here. Obviously just lead on the Forest and the Noble. Say go ahead. Make sure I'm recording, and I am. Four, so our nibble might stick around. Okay. So this is definitely something. I'm going to say go here, because I want to hold up path. And we might as well we'll play out our another our other noble. Because if he has a heritage druid, I'm gonna path that thing. For sure. And this will allow us to get our temple garden in tapped. Um, you know, the trick against elves is just being able to slow them down um, on their early sort of combo turn. Let's go ahead and path this right now. And then that'll just come in with uh, as a 2-2. Two -two. Let's go ahead and get our Temple Garden. So he has three cards in hand. 
Maybe I should have saved that for a um, one of his lords, but it is what it is. So we're definitely not going to be fetching away that cocoa. So we can just go ahead and drop the forest here. Gain a life. Let's go ahead and pester. So in our sideboard, this is the first time I've run a sideboard like this. So in our sideboard, we're probably looking to bring in Warship. Um, mm -hmm. Linvala for sure. Mm -hmm. And probably Eidolon. This is what I was afraid of. That right there, that card, is what I was afraid of. Yeah, I probably should have. See, he untaps with this, we pretty much just lose. I mean, he does only have one card in hand, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and Coco here. Oh, Mana Dorks. I love Mana Dorks. I'm so happy. Play the Temple Garden. There's a Knight. Swing in with our Courser. So, I mean, if he just has a bunch of mana, then we might be okay. That was a really horrible Cocoa hit. So let's see, we can play Knight. Nice thing is Knight can get pretty huge. Um, at this point, we're going to be looking to keep... Okay, land's good. Azori? No. Okay. So now things are starting to get a little big. Okay, so he doesn't swing in. Okay, so let's go ahead... Play our Knight. Play windswept. We see another knight. So we're swinging in with five. We could just swing in over top. Um, hold up the fetch, making the knight a four four. Right, so right now we can block, block profitably with Courser. Why don't we just swing in with a bird? Get a bunch of Exalted triggers. Because we don't want to lose this knight. This knight could potentially become really threatening in two turns. So we'll go ahead and draw the other knight. And then we'll be able to fetch twice next turn. So our knight will be, we'll have two five fives with a knight being able to tap and blow up a land. Draws a card, what do we draw? I mean, if we get a Zuri here, like it's just, it's bad. Uh oh. Okay. I don't like I don't like giving him all that all the all the card advantage there. Okay. Tracker's a solid draw too. But I think at this point we're kind of looking for I don't think we're looking for a tracker.
but unfortunately we don't have any way of drawing cards. So we could be looking for a path. I mean, we have a lot of shuffles to find the path. Yeah, t tracker's just too slow here. Um, if he drops an Azuri, we might just be dead. Another Arch Druid. Okay. Halfish Clan Caller, sure. Now he's going to be able to, like, activate that thing next turn. Okay, his stuff's getting huge. Sure. Yeah, now we just might be dead. Man, Beast Whisperer is super good here. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can basically three, four, five, six. So we can go here and we can go here. Three, four, five, activate night, six, seven. Why don't we kill this and only take five? Should we chump? No, we can take five. Go ahead here, get a planes, gain a life, because really we're only taking, get a planes, gain a life, go here, set this, get a fetch land. Excavator is not really what we wanted by any stretch. <clears throat> Should not have played the ghost quarter. I could have. <sighs> All right, so let's go ahead and just swing. So right now our knights are essentially nine nines without them having to tap. Maybe I should have swung in there. But no, we, we need to stay back on defense. He, he'll be able to run us over. So he's going to have tons of mana. He finds Azuri, we are done.
freighter huff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just we just lose. Woof. Okay, that's it. I get it. I've seen enough. Understand. Okay. So Evolution comes in. Linvala comes in. I think Eidolon is probably good. EE seems fine. So why don't we take out a couple Cocos. Ramanop doesn't seem to matter. Eternal Witness is good enough. Mm -hmm. I like Voice as a blocker. Skews doesn't seem to matter too much. Huh. So we're bringing in two, two creatures, and we just board it out two creatures. I'm bringing in four non-creatures. Yeah, so taking out a couple collected companies is probably right. So we need to shave two cards. Mm -hmm. Jamoka's command, I think, is good. Tracker does seem a little slow. We could probably get rid of one voice and one knight. Uh, let's maybe keep a voice and get rid of a knight. I think the upside to, to voice becoming just a, a huge token is better than uh, Knight of Autumn. So we have Path. We're going to have two mana. We can drop a Skews. We do have our, our Evolution. So let's go ahead and keep this. <clears throat> and then we have our Eternal Witness to get back, back our uh, Path to Exile. So I think that's probably good. If only we had a voice on too. If Skews was a voice, that would be sweet because we can EE -E our voice. So I think we just go ahead and get out our skews here. We'll be able to get a planes if we have to. Um, if we have to path anything. We're probably better off though getting a forest just to make sure. Might as well just go ahead and get. Do we want to path this clan caller right now? No. It's going to get Temple Garden. So this is interesting. Let's do this right now. For a mm -hmm. Linvala. Mm -hmm. 
and then we will play out our we might just actually Dramokus command this clan caller Okay, so I think we just, we took control of this game pretty hard. Um, why don't we go ahead and... Let's, yeah, let's just Dramokus command this clan caller. And then swing in for four. We can hold up path. Swinging for five, actually. <clears throat> hold up path. And then next turn we'll play out... I don't know, maybe... Probably a knight. Just to get the night, the night rolling, another body on the field that uh, the night will be at what a three three. You know what though? I think I'd rather start getting lands off the top instead of the night. I mean, I don't think really any... Either of those decisions were wrong. I mean, obviously, you know, getting an active knight is really important. Um, but I do want to be able to see the top of my deck. And I would love to get another land, because we can really start getting things rolling. While holding up path if we have to. Elvis Champion. So there's something that will path. So six. Hold up two paths. <clears throat> probably be able to wipe them out here so we can just block and kill something after we get rid of his lord so two champions that's fine On the sideboard in here. Let's see if we want to make any changes. Like I said, guys, this sideboard is so new to me. Um, mm -hmm. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. Does that actually matter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might actually. Anything we want. 
I don't think they can really deal with worship. Why don't we do something like that? Yeah, that works. It's funny, every time I go to the green-white version of this deck, it just feels a lot nicer. So this hand is super sweet. But I don't think it's good enough. Temple Garden. Knight. Maybe it is. The problem is our collected company is going to miss... No, let's let's mull down to something. Ugh. Okay, that's a little better. Get rid of a temple garden and let's get rid of our voice, I guess. Yeah, I shouldn't have shouldn't have mulled that first hand and had everything we needed. I just wanted to make sure that we had a way of getting getting what we needed here. So Next turn, we could play a bird, hold up path. Okay, clan caller. So we'll take three here. Witness, huh? Let's play a bird. So I could play out the fetch. Two, three, four. Yeah, let's actually do this because we'll be able to turn a witness back a path and then path next turn if we have to. I think that's probably better. So what we're going to end up doing is probably fetching a planes here. Pathing. Lead the stampede. Elves are such a cool deck. I love the, that that uh, archetype. So what did he get? Two mystics. That sucks. <clears throat> so what are we doing here? Are we going to path this clan caller? I think we might as well. Go ahead and snag a planes. He knows I have removal. I mean, he doesn't know I have removal, but he's, I'm sure he's assuming I have removal. Um, we'll take two here. Fourteen. All right, so there's a warship. I think we're fine just not putting that out there right now. Eternal Witness, let's get back our path. And then let's just go ahead and hold that up. 
That worship was a nice draw though, because I don't I don't think they can beat it. I mean, unless he's running like he nature's claim maybe brought something. I don't know if you think to bring that in against me though. Another sentinel. We'll definitely trade here if he wants to. It's also just uh, Skew's food. Let's see what he plays. Mystic. Okay. Mystic. All the mana, all the dorks. Yep. So, let's see. Worst case scenario, he drops a Lord next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might have to drop Worship. <sighs> or if he drops a double Lord, I think we're just done. So why don't we just go ahead and get Worship down? Make him have some sort of removal for it. Because I didn't have to play out the Ghost Quarter. I could have waited to get a tracker activation, but I want to start getting some mana here. If we have to, we can Ghost Quarter one of our lands because we already have enough mana to really play anything in our deck. Um, and then we can path something. So there's an Azuri. I don't think we care right now, right? Okay. Play out a courser. There's a bird. He must have like a nature's claim. So we can't like dirtle around here. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this Missouri. Two, three, four, okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get hit a land off the top. Do we shuffle this bird away? I think we might just shuffle this bird away. Uh-oh. That actually might have been the better... The better path target, because he's going to be able to get through his entire deck. Do we shuffle this bird, or do we wait for Tracker? I think we... Let's just wait for Tracker. <clears throat> Go ahead and play Tracker out. Now we're going to have a bunch of shuffle effects, which is great. Horizon Canopy is a fantastic card to draw, but I don't really think that's what we're after. Snag a forest here. A Knight's a good draw. Okay, so let's just start. 
cards. Pinging in, I guess. So we'll go ahead and we'll draw Knight. Guess I should have kept up Ghost Quarter, or uh, shouldn't have swung with the bird because I could have drawn Knight off of uh, the bird and the forest. And then I would have been able to Ghost Quarter away one of my lands to get a better draw step, which is probably what I should have done. That was really dumb. Like one point of damage, it like doesn't matter. But I never said I was a good magic player, so relax. What could he have here? Oh, he can, okay. I was gonna say, we got forced walk though. Okay. Is he gonna blow this up? That's sweet. I have not seen that card for so long. Ah, I used to play back in like the Lorwyn days. So good. That was like by far my favorite. Why didn't I draw that card? By far my favorite block ever. Let's go ahead and draw this one. Play out a knight. Temple guard. Our life just doesn't matter here. Let's go ahead and sack a land. Let's go find a plains. Gavini's actually probably pretty solid. Because we'll be able to start getting our birds. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and just play out a bird? And then that way we'll be able to snag a Gavini and uh, start pumping our birds and just flying over. Guess we can just F6 here. I don't think there's really anything we want to do. We can't do anything. So I was playing um, Jeff Hoagland's elf list, like the, the green black elves, and it is just like, God, it is so sweet. That deck is so ridiculous with um, the Shaman of the Pact. Like, that's how this dude would win right now, is like, Worship does not do anything against that card. Um, but he's running straight mono green, and it's just like... I don't know why you would. I mean, Shaman's just so good. Dude, you can like, come on, man. You can jump block for days. Like, you don't have to worry about what I'm doing. He probably has nature's claim in hand. Nope. 
wonder if he even has a way. He has to have a way of dealing with worship or he would not be not be doing this dance. So let's go ahead and activate Gavini. I mean, I hate to have to do this to him, but like, our true, sure. Make those creatures absolutely massive. So ideally, we can just like activate Knight. Oh, he has two Beast Whispers out. I was gonna say, we wanna get rid of like the Beast Whispers. They are just, you know, if he does have an answer in his deck, he's probably gonna get there um, before I'm able to close this thing out. And we only have one worship, so. Another champion. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and We'll activate night. I don't even know what we're looking for, but I know it's not a land. So. What is he digging for? He probably brought in like one nature's claim in case this situation happened. Probably just like, you know what? This dude's probably running this cheap card. And I'm going to bring this one card in. Yep, you got it, buddy. Night. Let's go ahead and grab probably a fetch land here at this point just to get the shuffles going. Do we want another bird? Actually, might not be a bad idea. I actually think I want to draw that bird. draw that bird let's go there then let's go ahead and shuffle this away there's an evolution so we have one, two, three, four, five mana. Let's draw that. One, two, three. We can evolution away. Probably just evolution away a noble. 
Or, no, 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 we need a three drop. Let's go ahead and get another fetch land. There's another bird. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Can we please get a land off the top? A voice. Four, Gavany. So next turn we'll be swinging three, four, five, six. We'll be swinging eight. Just get ahead and F6 here. See if he finds an answer. crazy it's crazy how this one card can be this uh this ridiculous i'm starting to think he just doesn't have an answer but i'm probably gonna eat my words here so we definitely i think it's just straight gavany activations because even if i like eldritch evolution um I mean, I guess I could EE -E a Courser to get um, Linvala just as an additional flyer. Because, like, Linvala is what, a 3 4 or something? So I. That just might not even be that worth it. I think this dude just wanted to do this. I think that was his whole thing. Dude, like, I get it. Your deck does some wonky things when you're able to just grind and goldfish your way to it. Like, I'm not interacting with you, man. Okay. Go there. We could just EE -E the Courser here. Why not? Do we even have... We have a Temple Garden, I guess. A Rising Canopy. It's just like a Ghost Corner. Go ahead and grab something that flies. That works. Six, seven, eight. I guess we didn't have to do that. We had lethal anyway. The following turn, but okay. Oh, we got there, guys. So this is cool. I dig this little ditty. Um, 
Yeah, I definitely like that. I like having three copies of all of these cards in the deck. Um, it's also just kind of fun. You know, like, Worship there saved our butts. Um, but yeah, this is just also kind of fun. Like, I like this whole toolbox vibe that this sideboard gives. Um, so I definitely want to... Interested to, like... Oh, what am I doing? What, Black Splash? No. No, stop. Same thing. Um... I'm definitely interested though to like try out the the uh, green white version just a little bit more. It, it just always feels a little nicer, and I just get so hung up because I feel like we need this little bit of interaction. But you know, maybe maybe you just you know accept the fact that we cannot beat like you know Phoenix. Um, I just kind of accept the like accept those things. And then uh, start building, you know, building in some like combo hate and stuff like that. Like I have, I've had great success against Storm, um, main board Bajuka Bog and Surgical Extractions. Like post game, I have fine games against Storm. I'm not even concerned about it. Valakut is just like insanely rough, but um, you know, maybe with a an Aven Mind Sensor, uh, might be able to get it there. You know, uh, a properly timed Aven Mind Sensor so they can't like bolt it, but. I don't know. So I think I'm just going to kind of mess around with this a little bit, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Punt Factor bringing you all the green-white value town.